And transitions are set up to be the most efficient way possible to hand over this massive apparatus of the U.S. government from one president to another. And that means you have to do several things at once. Part of it is, yes, mapping out personnel changes from cabinet secretaries to the several thousand political appointees that need to be filled to the White House staff itself. But also you have to get ready for your policy agenda from day one. So they have these landing teams that go into the different departments and agencies, literally teams of people who would be normally working out of the State Department or HHS, trying to get a handle on what's the state of play here? Uh, What's the latest on the virus that's in the U.S. government that we need to know about as we're making our plans so that we can have as seamless a transition as possible to January 20th? And this is an effort to kind of slow down those gears. But here's the thing. This is going to happen anyway, Nicole. Uh, the Trump people seem to be talking like they have some agency here. We're going right. to have the pageantry already of the president-elect announcing his advisory board. He's going to start announcing cabinet secretaries. The center of political gravity in this country and the world is shifting to Joe Biden. Foreign leaders are already having phone calls with Joe Biden talking about the agenda they're going to pursue January 20th. If that reality hasn't sunk in yet for some people in the White House, it will sink in when they have to leave on January 20th. And they're going to be in for rude awakening here. I remember I was on the the incoming side, where I felt the spotlight shifting to us in 2008, and I was on the outgoing side in 2016 when it was shifting away from us to Donald Trump. That's just going to happen, irregardless of what they do. It, the question is, how much damage do they do? How much do they slow down that efficient transfer? How much do they sow seeds of, of doubt of whether this is a legitimate result to their supporters? But they cannot affect the basic story here. And the basic story is that Joe Biden won, Donald Trump lost. And Joe Biden's going to be hiring a team and getting ready to take over the government on January 20th. They can make that more difficult for him, but they can't stop it.